retro rock plays everything. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers. Retro Rob here, and today we're going to take another look at the RG350. Reason being that several of you have asked me, how the heck do I get games on here? So I'm going to walk you through it step by step. It's really not that hard of a process, and I think the documentation maybe makes it seem harder than it is. It's going to be really easy, though, and it won't take real long. We're just going to pick a simple game and put it on here so that you can go put your own on. So let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is get FileZilla so we have a way of getting programs onto the RG350. Um, that's at FileZilla-project.org. Don't worry, I've got links down below to all this in the description. I'm gonna download this right now. And while this is going on, we're gonna switch over. There is an RG350 signed driver uh, note that you probably will not need this, at least if you are using Windows 10, which I'm using for this demo, it's not needed so far as I've been able to see. Uh, I didn't install it and mine worked just fine. Just note though, if you have Windows 7 or for some reason it isn't recognized, you can go to this website right here, download the driver and install it. And I'll show you that right after I make the uh, FTP connection uh, to the RG350. All right, one more thing you're gonna need, of course, is a game to install. And this website right here has a whole bunch of them. I will, of course, put a link down below. And if you are a developer watching this and your game's not on this list, let us know about it in the comments down below. Give us a link. Uh, sometimes links do get blocked, and if I can unblock it, I will. All right, so we are going to look for Astrolander, I think, we're going to use because it's small, easy to install. We're going to make this easy. Don't just click on it because if you do, you're going to get this. Come on. There. Just a bunch of junk. So I'm going to go back, right click on it, and then save link as, and then I'm just saving Astrolander. There we go. I've got Astrolander. Uh, now I'm going to install FileZilla. Said I'm gonna fall. I'm going to fall. I'm gonna install. I am gonna fall. I'm gonna install FileZilla. Sorry about the blank screen there for a second. And just agree. Come on. It's taking forever. Well, I suppose we can download this so I can show you this while we're waiting. Loading data, this will be but a brief moment. It's taking forever. Oh, I think it's back. There we go. Next. Next. I do not want this, so decline this. I hate when they bundle other software. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna start FileZilla. All right, let's go look at the RG350 for a minute and show you some settings you need to make there. And here we are at the RG350. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the USB-C cord to the right hand USB port. Do not use the left hand one, at least as of the time of the creation of this video. That one doesn't work. The other end, of course, plugs into your PC, which we installed all the software in, in the earlier step. Next, I'm gonna go to settings, network, don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like this, you should have the same settings in about the same place. And it says my IP address is 10112. I am going to allow login without a password. Generally, that is pretty bad security probably shouldn't do that as a general rule, but I'm not feeling really bad just because I'm just going through this USB cable. Uh, however, in the future, if there's ever a hack to allow you to have Wi-Fi on this, you're totally gonna wanna change that back to a random password or set a password. All right, we are all set on this end. Let's go back to the PC. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe or I will go Skynet on your butt. 
All right, back to FileZilla right here. I'm going to type in that host number that I noted earlier. That's 10. 1.1.2, it will probably be exactly the same number for you, most likely, username threat. Since I did not set a password that is blank, now we're gonna hit quick connect, and we are now connected. You may get a message that you're using an unsecure connection. That is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Just hit okay to it if you do get that message. All right, we're gonna take a look at the apps directory right here. And what you will see is a whole bunch of OPKs. And I'm going to go over to my Astrolander OPK that I just got. And I'm going to drag it right in there into the apps. And it will automatically install itself in the correct position uh, in your file system. So, well, I mean, it's already installed in the correct position. But it'll put itself in the right spot in your menu. And you'll be able to run it. Note that you can do the same thing for deleting. If I wanted to get rid of PR Boom, I could right click and I could delete it. That's it, it's installed. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are, we're gonna switch over to games and there's Astro Lander. Uh, one note, if you get any like menu anomalies or anything like that going on, you might wanna just reset the device real quick. Uh, every once in a while I'll have like an extra settings gear or something appear after I install. Uh, it's not permanent, so don't panic. It's something that goes away. Uh, so just reboot it. All right, let's just hit Astro Lander. And there we go. I'm Astro landing away. Do do. Oops. Ah. No. No. Ooh. I really should have blown up there. Come on. There we go. Astro landed. And that's it. It's actually pretty easy to add games to this once you see how it's done. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If it was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.